Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to the Guitar Life System and Pokesu channel. Uh, I'm talking today about uh, about things you can do uh, to kind of prepare yourself for the guitar ladder system. And even if you're in the guitar ladder system, you still might want to do these. Now, one of them I'm going to suggest right now. I'm serious, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm laughing as I'm saying it, but it's really true. It's almost like subliminal conditioning. Buy yourself a Joe Pass CD where he's playing solo guitar and listen to it an hour every day. I'm serious. A really good time to do this is just before you go to bed. Let it just, and you don't have to listen to it loud, but get yourself like Virtuoso 1, Virtuoso 2. One of the CDs where Joe Pass, who I studied with when I was 21, is playing solo guitar. Listen to it an hour a day. I'm serious. When I took from Ted Green for a little bit, I came in and was playing for him. He's like, oh, you're doing Joe's stuff, huh? And I was kind of like, oh, it's my own stuff. I, you know, I guess that was a compliment. But when I told him I used to listen to Joe Pass a couple hours every day, he's like, oh, okay, I can see why. Uh, I just love the way Joe Pass plays. But what this series of videos is about is kind of prepping. Because, you know, as a beginner, you don't have to just sit down here and do this forever you know you can start moving around your instrument and learning how chords connect learning about tension and resolution every chord has a direction every chord has a color every chord has a personality and then when you group those chords together they create another personality almost like a family almost like if you're I'm not much of a cook but you know if you combine ingredients and in cooking it takes on another character it's the same same way with chords so if you're if you're playing a chord like say a major seven that chord has different places it can go it can begin to go to a to a, an 11 sound now here I'm using there's what's really cool about the guitar ladder system folks is you can learn the 10 systems of improvisation without me getting into a big, boring, over-intellectualized rap about it. I've designed the guitar ladder system to really access the subconscious mind. This is heavy. It really is. I, I don't take credit for this. I give God of the universe all the credit, but I have worked my ass off over the years. But I've seen the results of this guitar ladder system, and I cannot sell anything I really don't believe in. It's true. And the results I've seen from this system, including friends of mine who are great musicians who've done the system, and been like, whoa, Steve, you can take that to the bank. It's just been absolutely incredible. It works, folks. There's nothing like it on the planet. So, you know, I'm going to shout. I'm going to let everybody know. I'm going to share it. So, and the price is crazy. I just added another two years of the membership. It was a four-year membership. Now it's a six-year membership. Now is the time to buy it. I just added two more years. I may not leave that on there forever, which that means is you're going to get everything I come up with. Uh, for that whole time so and there's no rush so even if you're a beginner but you you know if you start off on the right foot as a guitar player the, uh, the results you can have can absolutely be miraculous because you're feeding your your subconscious mind the right information but anyway so every chord has a direction or a color here's a major seven chord some may say you know that's a happy chord you know I, I, I don't really you can look at it that way but I just I'm trying to explain a little bit more about some of the components of the guitar ladder system. So every chord has a direction. Every chord has has a resolution. Has has a place. Many different places it can go. And when you learn how to play chords in relation to other chords and how to hook them together in a way that sounds beautiful, whether you're using smooth voice leading, contrary motion, you know, diatonic harmony, symmetry, intervallic. And by the way, you don't have to overanalyze all. You don't even have to know what that means. You're going to learn that automatically within my... That's why this system is so powerful. So here I'm going A major 7 to a, a, a B minor 11. See, that has a certain sound, right? Hear that? Now that's one place I can go for a major 7. And again, play a major 7 chord... And then close your eyes and play that chord in your head. Try, try to hear this in your mind. So I'll play it, and then you try to hear it in your mind. I'm, I'm serious. This, this, this is powerful. This, this will train your mind to, to understand how to kind of wake up that musical part of your mind, whether you call it subconscious, right brain, whatever you want, you know, particle mind, whatever you want to call it. Now hear that in your head. Okay, so major seven. And you don't have to memorize all this. This is just good information. Because see, everything that you hear or do, there, there's, there was a book years ago called Cyber, I think it's Psycho or Cyber Cybernetics. 
says the nervous system can't tell the difference between what you do and, and, and what you experience like you know somewhere else um, but the, the point I'm just getting to here is right now I'm trying to expose your mind to, to possibilities you know so major seven to um, this form here is a minor 11 it's got the root it's got the flat seven, the flat three, 11. Okay, so, but again, I'm more concerned you hear that. So I just want you to hear that. Listen to that. Okay, major seven to minor 11. Now we go change it a little bit. See, that's different. See? Not quite as cool sounding again it, it, I, I play certain things that are going to sound good to you and certain things that aren't going to sound good because I want you to start you know when, when somebody emails me and says oh I'm doing something I don't like the sound of it, I'm like great because it sounds a little more outside it's going to resolve it's going to create tension and resolution this has a little bit more a little more now we could go from major 7 to 13 to 7 sharp 9 13, uh, 13, or 13 to that form, which is basically, a, it's just a, a, a dominant uh, 7 with a flat 13. But the idea is that every chord has a direction or a tendency. Every chord has a color. There's high tension chords. There's low tension chords. A, low, a high tension chord is like a diminished, you know, a diminished... wants to resolve it wants to move it wants to you know go by minor thirds or whatever there's, there's chords like this the seven sharp nine you know has a little more tension to it okay whereas like you know like a minor seven chord works nice I kind of think of somebody like Earl Clue of an Earl Clue style learning how to use the minor and major chords but the point just being I want you to start thinking of chords as a color major 7 has a certain color okay uh, minor 11 has a color minor 7 has a certain color hear that minor 7 Every chord has a direction, every chord has a color, and what makes music interesting is what's called tension and resolution. It's, and what makes the guitar ladder system interesting is the way you learn to connect chords. So like cycle one, you're learning about smooth voice leading without even having to know what the hell it means, because you, you know it just means that you know, this chord and this chord are very close together, you have common tones. You know, you're not jumping around, you know, all over the place. But the, what I want to emphasize, though, is that if you're a beginning guitar player, you can begin to explore the guitar ladder system. You got six years to, to do this. You, you're, gonna, you're not probably not going to need that long, but you, you're going to get all the material. But the most important thing is start thinking of chords in terms of color and start noticing how they connect. Like minor seven connects major seven, you know. 13 connects 13, 13 connects 13, 13 connects 13, connects 13, flat 9, connects major 9, 6, connects augmented. A lot of learning music is learning to listen, and but when you begin to isolate the individual components of what you're listening to, it becomes very powerful. And when you begin to learn about chord, chordal improvisation in terms of grouping chords together in a way that sounds beautiful, like, like cycle eight. See, that's a nice, uh, nice way that all comes together. And that's why some of my customers say they actually run into standards when they're going through my system. But just real, real quick review, major seven, okay, connects, uh, and you don't have to just listen to this, you don't even have to worry about it. Major seven connects uh, minor 11, okay, now major seven, that's a little bit different chord, right? That chord, if you look at that and see, it's got a root three. It's got a um, it's got a flat, so it's a dominant a dominant sharp nine, and then I have a flat a flat thirteen in there. So hear that? That might come down and connect. 
to a 13, 13 flat 5, flat 9, to this 9 form, a little contrary motion. bits and pieces but like I said as a beginning guitar player you don't have to spend you know a ton six months doing this okay nothing wrong with that I love Bob Dylan I'm just saying there's no reason why you can't begin to work on cycle one and begin to work on my cycles but take like that other video work on uh, simple things like this okay or even just right across you know and I'll be doing more talking about chords, but just remember, chord, it's kind of like speaking. Chords connect with other chords, just like words connect with other words. And when you have a sentence, then that sentence has meaning. When you play guitar and you connect chords with other chords, it takes on more personality. It takes on tension and resolution. It takes on mood. It, you create color, you create shading, okay? You got the interior and exterior movement. Of course, don't worry about all this. This is all, Happen. This is what so, the most powerful thing about the guitar ladder system is how simple it is. I mean, really, it is so simple. If you just do the exercises with a positive attitude and positive faith, you're going to get huge results because by doing my system, you're automatically going to learn um, learn how everything connects, and you'll start waking up your your head. I've had total beginners that within six, seven, eight months are doing chord melody all up and down the neck, you know, sitting there just doing, uh, you know, incredible things. It works, folks. All right. So be positive. Keep the faith. Work on cycle one and work on the other stuff. Take care.